In this letter, the Department of State shows what they say are 12 examples of bogus signatures in Palm Beach County. Now, the supervisor of election tells me she doesn't dispute the fact that there have been duplicate or even fraudulent signatures found as a part of this process. But what she does say is that when it comes to these 12 and the thousands of other signatures that they did catch, they were not counted. With election day around the corner, voters are getting ready to hit the polls. Honest voting is how we got to run this country, you know. I mean, I believe everything should be done in honesty. I requested the records for all the signatures gathered in Palm Beach County for Amendment 4. It shows that in the 103,000 collected, over 73,000 were rejected. Palm Beach County Election Supervisor Wendy Sortori Link says signature gatherers have to be certified. And the fact that so many were caught is proof the system works. So the only um, ones that would be counted are ones that our office deemed acceptable. And those are used to certify you know, toward that number. Link says when they find potentially fraudulent signatures, they ask the signers to fill out a form like this one, where the voters said, quote, I did not sign a petition. This is fraud. And then we give that link to look at that live document to the Office of Election Crimes, we give it to the Sheriff's Office, to FDLE, and to the State Attorney's Office. Amendment 4, if approved, would add abortion protections to Florida's state constitution. Julie Rossi says it matters to her that it passes. I am voting yes to pass it. It also matters to her how it gets on the ballot. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's an amendment. I don't care if you're voting for your local politicians. I don't care if you're voting for the president of the United States. Election officials say it is possible some fraudulent signatures got counted. You know, it's an art, not a science. Which is why November's vote is crucial. I want people to go out and vote no matter what happens with this amendment. Michael Hoffman, WPTV News.